It's a very, very sunny day. Don't mind my glasses. Uh, how do I look, by the way? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's been a while. We did some vlog. Actually, today won't be a vlog. You'll be seeing more of my face and my nice eyeglasses while I tell you about how life has been since we finished our second semester, exactly. We're gonna talk about dormitories, we're gonna talk about stipend, we're gonna talk about internships. We're also going to talk about um, Butun Leme, which literally means receipt examination. And uh, to explain that, I'm going to tell you a bit about the Turkish education system, especially at the university level. So I think these things are really important for you to have a general overview of what life is like here. At some point in the video, I'll be adding B-rolls for you to understand better. I'm sorry about the noise of these cars, but I'm using my microphone, so I think you should be able to hear me clearly. Anyways, without wasting much of our time, I actually have a long way to walk. Let me show you guys around. So I'm walking down to that tall building you see down there. The metro is just right behind it. When I get there, I'll take the metro, go to Ulus, and from there, I'll be taking a bus to meet my friend. So basically, let us start from second semester exams. I will also explain the Turkish education system and about the Butun Leme I mentioned, which is receipt exam. Basically, in my university, which is almost the same in every other university, your average should be 50 for every course in order to pass that course. So let's say midterms weigh 40 and final exams weigh 60. Then if you get 20 uh, overall in midterms and you get 30 overall in your exams, that means you have 50 and you've passed. So let's say you have 48, you may fail the course. But with Butun Leme, the receipt exam, which is organized some weeks after your final exam, you get another chance to take the exam. And that means if you pass the Butun Leme, which is usually harder, yeah, Butun Leme is usually harder than the normal final exam. So if you pass Butun Leme, then the score you get there replaces your final exam score and that way you pass the course. This is actually a very good opportunity and it may be the reason why you never have to fail a course in Turkey. However, Butulame is usually more difficult than the final exam and um, you are never advised to take it. But apart from the fact that it can save you from failing exam, another advantage to it could be in the sense that, let's say, for me, for example, I had three exams and two of them were tough courses for me. One was mathematics, the other one was programming. The third one was um, a two unit course, which was kind of easy. So I knew very well that I am weak in these courses and I didn't want to take the risk of preparing for both and end up not doing well. So I delayed one and um, I took the button Leme instead. That way I was able to focus more on programming the first one, the most important one, for somebody like me studying computer engineering, if you don't pass programming, you know, there are some courses you won't be able to take in the next semester. So I focused more on programming for Butun Leme, I focused on mathematics. So that way, I, I took advantage of Butun Leme, but, you know, it's still quite difficult to actually study for it because Butun Leme is taken during the holidays and that time, most of your friends are already having fun, going out, some are touring the country, the city, and whatever. So it's not that easy to, you know, be alone and study, except you actually have friends who are also practicing for the same Putin Leme, and that way it can be a little bit easier. And if you don't have luck in the exam, it's way too difficult. <laughs> That's another issue. Butun Leme was um, about two weeks after our final exam. We started our, our holidays in late May. I still had to take some exams in early June, and that took a bit out of my holiday. Yeah, so I just wanted to explain that, that it is important to know. Uh, you are never advised to take Butun Leme, and probably not all courses have Butun Leme. So uh, make sure you plan for your studies right from the beginning. In fact, you should study as if you had no second chance. But the fact that the second chance is available, I think it's something good as well. For the rare cases like mine, where you have to give a course up for another, which I don't think is actually a valid reason anyways. But you know, we students, 
things happen and uh, you just find yourself in some situation and you have to just try to manage exactly so that's basically it i really thought that was important you should know that if you are going to your second year you should start planning for